Last year saw record melting of the huge sheet of ice that covers Greenland, according to a major new study. More than 500 billion tonnes of ice was lost from the world's biggest island in 2019. That's 60 tonnes for every person on Earth. What's more, the rate of ice loss is accelerating with implications for us all, as our chief environment correspondent Justin Rollat reports. Rising temperatures are melting the ice at the top of the world. In the summer, great chunks have always broken off the vast ice sheet that covers Greenland. But a major new study shows the rate of loss is increasing. Scientists have analysed a huge trove of satellite data to work out how much of Greenland's ice has disappeared. The areas marked in red are where melting has been most extreme. The scientists who did the research are shocked by the scale of what is happening. It turned out to be another record year, um, topping the previous record in 2012 in terms of melt production, mass loss um, to the ocean, and also like a single year of sea level contribution from Greenland. It's not just Greenland that's been shedding ice. The melt rate in Antarctica has been increasing too. Here's what's been happening in Greenland, and the combined effect has been raising sea level around the world increasingly rapidly. The two regions were adding two millimetres a decade in the 90s. Now it's more like 13 millimetres a decade and rising. Now that may not sound much, but it's reckoned that every centimetre of sea level rise exposes millions more people to the risk of catastrophic flooding. Over the course of the, the 20th century, we've gone from maybe one millimetre per year of everything, and the last few years we're going up to four or five millimetres per year, and that's starting to get quite significant. So the acceleration in the trend in sea level rise is, is definitely more concerning. So what should we do? Well, we can't stop the ice melting, the scientists say. But if we can reduce carbon dioxide emissions, we can slow the rate of acceleration. And that means the world will suffer less damage from rising seas. Justin Rowlatt, BBC News. Let's get more now on the record melting of the huge sheet of ice that covers Greenland, according to a major new study. Well, more than 500 billion tonnes of ice was lost from the world's biggest island in 2019. That's 60 tonnes for every person on Earth. Well, the lead author of the report, Ingo Sasken, joins me now. Very good to have you with us. You've written this report and um, it uh, doesn't paint a very good picture. How did you come to the conclusion that uh, things are melting at such a rapid pace? Well, thank you very much and good afternoon. So um, we came to the conclusion by satellite observations. We already knew that 2019 was a rather hot year in Greenland but we needed the satellite to wait for the satellite data to quantify this really in terms of the mass loss that happened um, in 2019. And is this something that's reversible? Um, of course, there is something you can do about it. So um, our study shows that the melting in Greenland is huge and ongoing, but it's also closely connected to temperature. And the Arctic summers, they have warmed uh, about one and a half times faster than the global average. And um, this doesn't affect only the Greenland ice sheet, but also the glaciers in Alaska and Canadian Arctic, Russian Arctic, and so on. So if we limit the warming in the Arctic, um, less melt is produced. And also the risk goes down um, of fast ice retreat um, of glaciers that are currently ending in the sea. So in other words, for every fraction of uh, um, warming we save in the Arctic, we will get a smaller amount of sea level rise. And what's the biggest contributor to this? So the biggest contribution was really done uh, or was, was uh, made by the melt itself. As I pointed out, it's been like a very hot summer, but we also had um, rather low accumulation in this year. And it's not only about the, the amount of ice that sort of um, leaves the Greenland ice sheet each year. It's also putting this into the perspective of um, how much is the overall turnaround, how much is accumulated each year. So we found that um, 80% um, more ice is lost than is accumulated in, um, on, on the top of the ice sheet in 2019. So in a way, this, this is the largest imbalance that we recorded so far. And it's, it's, some, it's like if you would overspend your income um, each year by 80% or so. Okay, and very briefly, um, are there other areas of concern in the world, similar kind of melting? 
Yeah, as I pointed out, we have this very direct connection between temperature and uh, glacier mass loss in the Arctic. But then we, of course, have the Antarctic ice sheet, where a huge amount of, uh, of ice um, um, resides below um, sea level. And there, the processes are quite different and far more complex. And also, obviously, it's very far away and hard to get to. So we don't have as much data. So also, we will see some changes probably even um, um, yeah, going on in the near future once the warming kicks in in the Antarctic area. Okay. Ingo Saskin, thanks very much for joining us. Well, thank you very much. Bye.